going on people i know you were like hey what happened to the requested videos most of the people have been private except for this one which i got not too long ago so i will jump into it how to start a business when you have a great job glendon love your youtube channel and, and been watching for years however i have a different question than your normal how to sell some stuff out of a storage unit question i have a great job and i make very good money six figures in fact the problem is I'm not fulfilled with my work, but because I have such a great job and I make a wonderful salary, it's very hard for me to be motivated to do something else. How do I move from this space? Other people were let go from an international division recently in my company. We were told not to worry our jobs were safe. I have no confidence in that, yet I'm still finding a struggle to be motivated to start my own business. I have $80,000 in the bank and some credit card debt. If you were me, what would you do? Thanks for doing this, Mark. Alrighty, let's look at this is a this is really interesting. The first thing that I see is I know it's gonna sound strange, but you have no wolf biting at your ass. You know that even if you get laid off, you've got money in the bank. More than likely you can probably get another job doing what you're doing. So there is no fear, there's no sense of urgency. You're going to have to create a sense of urgency if you truly, truly want to start a business because right now, and this is common with people who have really good jobs or they're, they're doing well, they're not, they're just not motivated to start anything. It's just, what's the point? Many people either move towards something or run away from something. And typically a uh, catalyst for change in your life is going to be some type of crisis that's just going to make you perform at a higher level. So you could create one or if you get laid off and can't find a job, then you may start. Now, my question to you is, why do you want to start a business? Is it something, you know, because there's not a lot here, but you're making good money. You have a job that you kind of like because you call it a great job, but you say you're unfulfilled. Maybe you can become an entrepreneur, someone that just go to your boss and say, look, I got an idea for these projects and try that. Because until you a figure out what you want to do, because, you know, you've uh, already told me because I remember an email from you years ago where you thought the storage officer thing was cool, but it was just too dirty for you. Now I know why. <laughs> Why are you going to go out there when you're making the money you're making? But you're going to have to really, really double down on what you want to do. You already have money. You already have a certain level of freedom. And yeah, with possible job layoff, that it doesn't really sound like you're really concerned about that. It really doesn't. Now, here's a tip to starting the business. If you have no idea what you want to do, Take 10 of your hobbies, you know, 10 things, hobbies, pursuits, hiking, whatever, and work backwards to, is this something that can make me some money? And that's the starting place. Frequently, you have people who will start a business in one discipline, and then once they get in the business, they'll find out there's something better that they can do or make more money, and they'll start doing that. So that's kind of it, because unless you, you've got to get this urgency. You, right now, you are just fat, lazy, and happy right now. It's just all good. Really, if something bad happens, nothing's really bad's going to happen. So pretend you don't have the money in the bank. Pretend that tomorrow you're getting laid off and then start creating an exit strategy, some kind of success strategy, because until your mind gets to that point where we need to do something, you're pretty much going to stay where you are. And this is really, really common. There's a lot of people, they have a good job, they're making good money, and there's no sense of urgency. You've got to develop a sense of urgency that is not predicated on disaster. All right, this is Glendon. See you on the good side. And thanks, Mark, for providing the first open <laughs> disruptive consulting video. Most of the folks are doing private videos. Uh, everyone so far, except for Mark, is just like private you know, I don't want to share. I don't want nobody to know what I'm doing. So that's why you haven't been seeing them. Maybe this will spawn some more. All right. 
Also, if you're here, you're still here at the end, be sure to check out the audiobooks and everything that's below. There's all kinds of wonderful content that's below, and there's more stuff that's coming. And I can tell you right now, the best deal that's going is the Hustler Mindset Audiobook Club. All right. All right.